How y'all doing? This is Steve McGranahan here, World's Strongest Redneck. This is a, um, a frying pan. And the other day I was outside and I was cooking hot dogs over the fire. And the hot dogs kept rolling off and landing in the fire. I burned my hand reaching in there, put it in there. So I got mad and I took that frying pan. And I rolled it up just like that. And I was about to throw it. And all of a sudden, I had that epiphany moment where the clouds opened up and the sunlight shined on my face. And I thought I heard angels singing. And it went like this. Oh! And I came up with the world's first redneck hot dog cooker. Yep, I took it in, reached it in the fire. I put the hot dog in there, cooked over the fire, it didn't fall out. Yep. And then I was cooking it for me and my wife. Well, she's taking a bath in the creek right beside the house. She does it once a week. <laughs> So she come walk around, she's doing her hair like that. And I said, hold on, honey. Sat down on the picnic table. Well, it's really not the picnic table. It's a big empty spool that the cable company left in the yard. Anyhow, she come around, I heated that thing up in the fire. Walked over to her and went, And I blow dried her hair with it. It's one of them dual purpose apparatus. Redneck hot dog cooker slash hair dryer. Told y'all I was the world's strongest redneck. I'm well, my world's smartest. I know I got 110 IQ. Or was that my weight at birth? Anyhow, thanks for coming by. Steve McGranahan, world's strongest redneck. Bye.